what do you think about uh, Floyd talking about Greater Than Ali? He, he, he's very delusional. He can't listen. Um, if he if he was anywhere near that um, that realm of Greater Than Ali, he'd be able to take his kids to school by himself. Okay, he can't take he can't take his kids to school by himself. And he talking about he's great. Greatness is not guarding itself from the people. Greatness is being accepted by the people. He can't take his kids alone to, to school by himself. He's a little scared man. He's a very small, scared man. Floyd Mayweather has attracted considerable criticism due to his assertion of being the world's best boxer, surpassing legends like Ali. Recently, Mike Tyson labeled Mayweather as delusional for proclaiming himself the greatest boxer ever, especially compared to Ali. Tyson expressed that Mayweather's belief in his superiority is unrealistic, emphasizing that if Mayweather truly rivaled Ali's greatness, he would handle everyday responsibilities like taking his children to school without assistance. Iron Mike repeatedly challenged Mayweather for his claims of boxing supremacy, going as far as to describe him as ignorant and arrogant. Regarding Floyd, some may perceive him as excessively self-absorbed. Mike Tyson appears to harbor animosity towards Mayweather, primarily due to Mayweather's assertion that he's the best boxer globally. Tyson's criticism stems from Mayweather's inability to handle simple tasks, like taking his kids to school independently, portraying Mayweather as a fearful and small-minded individual. The feud between these two boxing icons is intense, and this analysis uncovers the depth of resentment between Mike Tyson and Floyd Mayweather, a rivalry that might not be widely known among boxing enthusiasts. Mike Tyson has been vocal about his disapproval of Floyd Mayweather, primarily citing Mayweather's demeanor and his claims of being the greatest boxer in the sport's history. Tyson perceives Mayweather as delusional, emphasizing that if Mayweather truly matched the caliber of greatness like Ali, he would manage simple tasks such as taking his kids to school independently. Mayweather, known for his unabashed self-praise and confidence, has always been unreserved in touting his own abilities, both in and out of the boxing ring. In a candid episode of Club Shay, Mayweather reignited the ongoing debate about boxing's greatest by asserting himself as the enduring face of the sport, once again sparking discussion about his place in boxing history. Mayweather's statement wasn't merely about his current importance, but it overshadowed revered boxing icons such as Ali and Mike Tyson. Ali isn't solely seen as a boxer, but as a global icon who transcended the sport, while Tyson's sheer power and ferocity made him an immensely recognized athlete of his era. Mayweather's argument, however, centers on the present. He asserts that ongoing discussions about boxing inevitably revolve around him, highlighting his enduring impact and relevance in today's boxing landscape. Mayweather believes that jealousy drives the hesitation to acknowledge his greatness, a perspective that has sparked division among opinions. Critics argue that while Mayweather's defensive style was effective, it lacked the thrill of Tyson's knockouts or the theatricality of Ali's fights. However, Mayweather's supporters highlight his strategic brilliance, his adeptness in adapting to any opponent, and most significantly, his flawless record as substantiation for his assertions. In the realm of sports, figures often wield considerable influence, and Mayweather's numbers are undeniably impressive, boasting an astonishing record of 50 wins and zero losses. He retired without a single defeat, a feat achieved by few. However, Mayweather doesn't just highlight the absence of losses in his career. He emphasizes the quality of opponents he faced and conquered throughout his illustrious journey. He has successfully navigated and triumphed over numerous world champions, each possessing unique styles and strengths. This adaptability and consistent success against top-tier competition form the core of his argument. Comparing athletes across different eras in sports is inherently challenging. The boxing landscape during Ali or Tyson's time differed significantly in terms of competition, training methods, media presence, and global influence. Mayweather, on the other hand, emerged in an era where boxing faced stiff competition from various entertainment options. Despite this, he became a pay-per-view sensation, generating billions in revenue. His fights turned into major events, attracting not only hardcore boxing fans, but also casual viewers and celebrities. Moreover, Mayweather's emphasis on his achievements transcends mere wins. It extends to the manner in which he attained them. He often showcased dominance over his opponents, rendering elite fighters seemingly ordinary. His bouts with boxing stalwarts like Manny Pacquiao were significant displays of his prowess. 
Canelo Alvarez and Oscar De La Hoya, among others, demonstrated his exceptional boxing intelligence and skill set. However, one of the most contentious moments in the ongoing debate about the greatest boxer of all time emerged when Mayweather asserted that he surpassed Ali. To many, this statement was considered disrespectful, and even Mike Tyson himself expressed strong opinions about the undefeated champion. Mayweather's bold claims regarding his own greatness in boxing, particularly in comparison to Ali, have sparked intense debates among boxing enthusiasts and experts. Unlike aspiring to fight like Leonard on some days, fight like Hagler on others, or possess a style like Tommy Hearns, Mayweather's audacious stance suggests he aims to reach the level of a formidable fighter like Mike Tyson. During an ESPN interview in 2015, Mayweather expressed unwavering confidence, proclaiming himself as potentially the greatest boxer of all time, surpassing legends like Ali and Sugar Ray Robinson. He justified this bold assertion by highlighting Ali's limited fights in one weight class. Mayweather firmly stated, No one can convince me that Sugar Ray Robinson and Ali were better than me. To strengthen his argument, Mayweather pointed to specific instances from Ali's career, highlighting Ali's loss to Leon Spinks, a fighter who had merely seven professional bouts at the time. Mayweather used this example to accentuate his own unblemished record and to cast doubt on Ali's standing in the hierarchy of boxing greats. He pointed out that Spinks defeated Ali when he had only seven fights, asserting that no one would ever put a fighter with such limited experience against Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather also criticized Ali's famous rope-a-dope tactic, a strategy Ali used against formidable opponents like Joe Frazier and George Foreman. Mayweather disapproved of this tactic, which involves absorbing punishment on the ropes to tire out the opponent. He questioned the notion of being praised for allowing oneself to take a beating and tire out the opponent, stating, Are you telling me it's admirable to lean on the ropes, endure punishment, and let an opponent exhaust himself beating you? And you want to be celebrated for that? Mayweather reiterated his claim of being the greatest of all time, recalling his earlier statements after defeating Sonny Liston. While Mayweather's arguments may hold merit in terms of statistics, many in the boxing community argue that greatness transcends numbers alone. Ali's profound impact on the sport, his cultural significance, and his role in global socio-political issues solidify him as a larger-than-life figure in history. Furthermore, Mayweather's remarks emerged just before his highly anticipated fight against Manny Pacquiao. Some argue that these statements were strategically timed to create more excitement and attention for the upcoming bout. When Floyd Mayweather boldly compared himself to the legendary Ali, it inevitably provoked a reaction from Mike Tyson, who didn't hold back. Tyson labeled Floyd Mayweather as a fearful and insignificant individual in response to the Ali comparison. This statement encapsulates Tyson's intense reaction to Mayweather's assertions. Tyson's stance is unmistakable. He vehemently disagrees with Mayweather's self-appraisal and is notably aggravated by Mayweather's remarks regarding Ali. Tyson's response isn't solely a defense of Ali, but also a critique of Mayweather's audacity to position himself above a figure as monumental as Ali. In Tyson's view, Mayweather's comments exude arrogance and a lack of respect for the legends who paved the way for future generations of boxers. Ali wasn't merely a fellow boxer. He served as an inspiration, a mentor, and a symbol embodying the essence of a genuine champion. Ali's profound influence on Tyson's career is extensively documented, shaping not only Tyson's fighting style, but also his overall approach to the sport. Tyson has frequently expressed how Ali significantly impacted his journey in the realm of boxing. Ali's legacy extends beyond his prowess in the ring. It encompasses his substantial impact outside of it. He stood as a global icon, a civil rights activist, and a vocal advocate for the marginalized. His battles against racial injustice, his anti-Vietnam War stance, and his conversion to Islam garnered worldwide attention. For Tyson and numerous others, Ali's greatness surpasses his accomplishments in boxing. He stood as a beacon of hope, resilience, and defiance in the face of adversity. Tyson's response to Mayweather is deeply rooted in a profound respect for the sport and its revered legends. In a sport that often celebrates physical strength, 
Ali represented something much more significant. The enduring influence of individuals like Ali lies not only in their mental and moral strength, but also in their profound impact on boxing's history and legacy. Mayweather's challenge to Ali's position in the pantheon of boxing greats, as perceived by Tyson, undermines the fundamental pillars of the sport's narrative. Additionally, Tyson's response illuminates an unspoken code of respect among athletes. While healthy competition and rivalries are integral to sports, there exists an underlying expectation to acknowledge and honor the contributions of predecessors. According to Tyson, Mayweather's remarks breached this code. In Tyson's view, Mayweather's inability to perform basic tasks such as taking his kids to school independently portrays him as a timid individual. This portrayal contradicts the valor and bravery historically associated with boxing, a sport deeply rooted in tradition and history. Throughout its existence, boxing has been a fertile ground for ongoing debates, especially regarding the quest to determine the greatest of all time. This discussion, as old as the sport itself, continues to evolve with each generation of fighters, each bringing forth their unique skills, achievements, and impact. The criteria for defining boxing's greatest remains an open question. Does it revolve around an undefeated record? Is it the tally of titles secured? the caliber of opponents defeated, or the sheer dominance showcased within the ring that defines boxing greatness. For proponents of Floyd Mayweather, his flawless 50-0 record and his command over numerous world champions present a compelling argument supporting his claim as the greatest of all time. However, for many others, boxing encompasses more than just statistics. It's about a boxer's impact beyond the ring, the obstacles they've surmounted, and the enduring legacy they've left behind. By this measure, Ali stands as a standout figure. Ali wasn't merely a boxer, he transcended into a global icon, a champion for civil rights and a vocal opponent of oppression. His refusal to join the Vietnam War draft, his conversion to Islam, and his eloquent, charismatic manner of expression made him a figure larger than the sport itself. Mike Tyson's critique of Mayweather underscores the clash between these two perspectives. For Tyson and numerous others within the boxing community, the sport's foundation is built upon the shoulders of its legends. Their narratives, challenges, and triumphs weave the rich tapestry of boxing's history. Mayweather's comments, perceived by some as arrogant, appeared to diminish the significance of these legends, instead focusing primarily on his individual achievements. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.